Okay, guys, here from Manchester Street Studios at CES. I came walking down here. I'm just going to be honest, Josh, okay? Right? Say the name right, Josh, right, Josh? Okay, I'm just going to be honest, okay? I came walking down here. I said, what the hell? Uh, it's Kodak. They're at CES. I thought, they, aren't, did they come from the grave? What, what the hell has happened? I, I, I truly thought that. I became very intrigued, but I did remember and, and, and about someone told me, oh, Kodak's making Super 8 again. I go, what the hell? But, I, but first, let's address that. From the ashes, what the hell is going on with Kodak? It's Kodak Revival. It's uh, we're, we're, we're bringing, it bringing it back. Revival and Renaissance. Revival. Go ahead. Revival and Renaissance. It's, it's an analog Renaissance. Yeah. You know, people are really yeah. into yeah. vinyl records. They're yeah. Really yeah. Hard and good terms. Yeah. It's all you can do. Craft beer. Uh, so, yeah, rediscovered, you know, making better. I'm sure it's a recent chance. Yeah. So, that has a short time I translated to for research. Let me ask you. Sorry. Kate Blake. Major movies were shot on film. Let me ask you a real question. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. You said a maker generation? Yeah. Can you explain that? Because I, I have an idea what you mean, but other people are asking. I'm sort of asking too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think a lot of the like, millennial generation, they're really big into experiences. They want to, uh, they want to make things. They want to take classes. They want to learn how to do things. And I mean, was like, like, there's been I knew a big, uh, there's obviously a big digital movement. I, I was at the Sands. But we also I think I wanted to get on a show. There's a whole generation. The book and the show. Right. The fabric of our lives. So isn't that what it's about so often? Talk to people, you know they're going to be somewhere. So right. I, I because that commercial, sorry to quote another company, it's a it's a port for this guy for its place, industry, whatever. And, and right. in America, the look, if you look at cotton, the fabric of our lives, because we have a, a, a cotton shirt, feels good. But going back to the uh, I was a when I was a kid, I was only three. I shot with Super 8. I was three. Shot with Super 8. Okay, let's go with this, Josh. All right, so and so I have those fond memories as well. And then of course, so go on to that. What we were talking about, Quentin Tarantino. We know he's a big proponent of film, and also film projectors. So tell us about that. Go into that Renaissance. And the reason why? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, you've had Quentin Tarantino, J.J. Abrams shot the new Star Wars movie, now the biggest movie in history. Batman director? Zack Snyder, yeah. Batman and Superman is shot on No, 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 no. You're, you're getting too geeky. Oh, sorry. Christopher Nolan. Oh, oh yeah. Chris, what does he say about all Christopher this? Nolan loves film. He, Interstellar was shot on film. Um, and there, there's a lot of directors. Like We actually had such an outpouring. Like, J.J. Abrams is on Twitter. Steven Spielberg is, is giving us an endorsement. So many people are thrilled about this camera. And the right. return of film. But they're shooting in 35, and, they, and uh, Quentin Tarantino releasing in 70. Why, right. why are they excited about Super 8? Because a lot of filmmakers, this is their entry point to making films. J.J. Abrams made the movie Super 8 because he was so yeah, inspired by Super 8 when he was a kid. Yeah. So a lot of these guys, this is how they get into film. And I've had this experience at the show. Like, I've had fathers. Well, sure, at the end. Right? Well, fathers, fathers, and, on. Yeah, fathers and sons have come into the booth. Dad is like, this is how I got into film. This is how I shot. Yeah, yeah. And his son is just as excited. He's like, oh my god, I gotta have one of these. I mean, it's been a real cross generational experience. And there's just something about it. I shot my family's Christmas holiday on Super 8 this year. And when you pull the trigger on a Super 8 camera and you hear it working, and you, you're making something. There's such craft to it, and it's just, it's really exciting. It's really fun to use it. So, how did it feel when you were shooting? Family holiday? Yep, yep. Why did it have so much meaning for you? Well, because one of the things that's cool about film is that um, uh, Im images have become so ubiquitous, right? We take images on our yeah, cell phones all the time. But when you use film, you have a limited amount of time. You have to think about what you want to shoot, you want to think about what so, you want so to shoot. So sorry for this comparison, but it will make sense. Twitter, right? 140 characters only. Now, whether like Twitter or not, it is helping in another thing called brevity. Right. Brevity, succinctness. Yes. When you have, it helps you train you because I do improv all the time. Right. That's why I'm able to interview people. I, I think, okay, fairly well. And because I do it over and over again, it's about brevity, succinctness, get your message across quickly, and effectively. So those all apply. Would you say? I would definitely say so. And, and, uh, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be great training here? I'm gonna help you out. All right. Wouldn't it be great training for filmmakers to get a Kodak Super 8 to become great filmmakers? That. It sure would. When they shoot on a big 4K camera, yeah. they don't have to. They shoot it all on Kodak Super 8. What's the name of the model? This is 
Super 8 camera. That's what we're, that's what it is. That's what it's called. Yep. The Super 8 camera. Yep. That's original, Josh. Yep. So let, let me. Can I show? show yes. The do it, here, buddy. All right. So this is a Super 8 camera. So classic analog film. Woo! Right yeah. There it is. Film I cartridge. I remember that. Yep. And then, but we've added some three. features to make it a camera for the way people want to make content today. So it has a Ooh, digital viewfinder. Oh yeah. F and A. So digital viewfinder. We call this our skateboard grip. And I this, like that. It gives you nice uh, level shots. Yeah, or it gives you smooth. a lot of flexibility how you want to shoot. You can be riding on a skateboard if you want. Um, or, and then we have our external mic. So this is a really cool feature because traditionally it's hard to capture audio on Super 8. So now the mic, um, it comes off. You can put other audio options in there. And it syncs the audio to an SD card in the back of the ca uh, camera. So now you a lot can, better than I had. Yeah, you can marry the audio and the video up in post-production. And the other thing that's really exciting about this is it's not just a camera that we've launched. Yep. When you buy a cartridge of Kodak film for this camera, you're going to pay upfront for processing, digital scan, and transfer. Because so many people, I tell you, this is the most often question I've gotten this is, how, how do I develop my film? Where do I get film from? Where do we get it bail up, Josh? That's right. So it's we're going back to the days of our founder. George Eastman used to say, you push the button, you do the rest. And that's what it's going to be. You buy the film, shoot your film, send it back to Kodak, we'll send you back an analog film reel, and links the digital files you can download to process your film and start to work with it, share it, post right, it. Let me ask you some questions that I'm having that I'm sure many others are having. Yep. <clears throat> I'm distracted. Sorry. Sorry. There's a lovely model walking by. I'm pro models. Okay. Josh, are you pro models? I'm, I'm pro. Yes. That's okay. I'm, I'm very happy for us. Okay. Now, this is cool. Now, I'm gonna get, I don't want to ask you a question for the camera yet. On yeah. the processor, yeah. we're talking about business model now, right? Yes, yes. Business model, because your old business model was take it in, seven days, it might get, it might get torn up, it might, whatever, you know, and then I lost all my footage. All these things, now for this thing to really take off, you have to have a really good business model to go with it. That's correct. So how do you address, what is the cost of a roll of film? What is the cost of the, the processing? Right. And how long does it take? So those details, the details in that workflow, honestly, we're still working out. We're going to launch this in Q4, so we're still oh, quite a ways away. Oh, it's not launched just yet. Yeah, yeah, so we're quite a ways away so from the launch. So who's getting to shoot with this? Um, right now. <laughs> Jeff gets the mic. Makes right. a movie. I'll make a movie. I'll make a movie. We'll, we'll, we'll start Josh. We'll, we'll, let's exchange information and we'll do this thing. Right, that um, sounds like a date. Um, it's not a date. Wait, so, well, wait, maybe it is. It's, it's a, a film date. It's a date to make something awesome is what it is. Um, that so was good. We're, uh, you're, be, you're, you're beyond normal smart <laughs> so what but what we're gonna, what we're going to talk about is uh you know the details that have come out uh, over the summer leading up to the launch and all we, those we, pricing we, questions yeah we, we understand that, that you know definitely that's a really that's going to kind of make a break in my yeah. opinion okay <clears throat> because it's like um i can't think of, the, of, a, of a great business model that, that's applicable here but it's just like you can take like an old technology yeah. and create a new business model that's right and you create a new industry. That's right. Yeah. A renaissance of source, perhaps. Let me ask you this. Can you take it beyond renaissance? Can you take it beyond Mr. Bu hey, I like my vinyl records and I have my little God patch or whatever it's called. How can you take it past that, Josh? Well, that's what this does. If you can, with that, what you're talking about, right? That workflow. If we can make it easy for a new generation to discover film, we can inspire the next Quentin Tarantino, the next J.J. Abrams, the next Steven Spielberg. Do you want to do that? To shoot on film, you bet I do. Or the next. <laughs> Jeff Vogt, ImaginationMediaStudios.com, ImaginationMediaNetwork.com. Watch us on Imagination Media Network. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's what we're looking for. We are wanting to take it past the rest film. We want to bring the film back and make it. Uh, it's, a, it's an artist's choice. It's a medium. It's like sometimes digital yeah, is the right thing. Yeah, you can make it thing. great. Because sometimes film is the right thing. It's like, sometimes, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to, it's like uh, some artists like water, watercolor, some like oil paints. That's yeah. what film and digital are. They're different mediums. Right. You know, now for me, let's pick on Quentin Tarantino just a little bit, okay? He's not a god, is he? He's a, he's a great, he's, he's a pretty, very good filmmaker. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I actually love his films. But you think, oh, we had to shoot it in 70 millimeter. I'm a nerd. I'm Quentin Tarantino. And I'm going, well, you know what? You can get some amazing images on 4K. Okay, now I know what you're going, but let me just ask you. So I'm, I'm you know, and I'm, 
I'm not a purist per se. If I can make a beautiful image in 4K with a detail as great as film or even better through 8K or whatever, like new technology or whatever, but I am intrigued by this. It makes me want to get a camera. If they could give me one, I could do a movie for them. If they could let me have a model free and show it off the world. No, no, no. I, I'm very intrigued because I had that same background as J.J. Abrams. I'm not his level of success yet in terms of big screen movies. But... Yeah. Well, there uh, but, is... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, but sorry. this is an inspirational point. It doesn't matter. I'm me, and I'm going to create my own world and my own destiny right. outside of Hollywood. And so come to Texas, and you'll find out all about it. But, right. but, and but, but, we're yeah, going right, to give you the tools to tell the stories that you want to tell. We're going to make tools that are the most flexible for creators to get out there and tell their stories. So whether it's J.J. Abrams now, or whether it's like Michael Boy who loves to shoot Super 8 on American Horror Story. Or some... 11 year old watching this video today. You bet. I'm talking to you. Josh, is it Josh you talking to him or her? I'm talking to him or her. It's probably yeah. going to be a more of a him because guys have like geeky stuff or nerdy. Or, but you know what? It's all yeah. aboard, all aboard. Whoever, whoever produces something beautiful. And yeah. let, me, let me get on the artistry aspect because this ad intrigues me. I love what you're doing. And I felt, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Do you know that you used to have a big location down there? Yeah. And yeah. it's no longer there. Yep. And so there was some sadness. And let me pick on you guys a little bit. You had about the, about being resurrected. You know, you guys didn't see the curve with, with, with digital cameras, and so this is like to me to see the resurrection. I like that. Right. And so, so yeah. Can well, you can you address that and where you hope where, where could it hopes to go? Well, and, and like we offer right now, actually, we're, we're talking all about Super 8. We're talking all about um, film, but we also launched a 4K 360 camera at CES. It's a beautiful product. I mean, it, it shoots amazing virtual reality 360 video. So can I see we're, this? we're offering the spectrum of, of images. Uh, we're making tools for people to create. Whether you so you can, create you, can, here. you can resurrect George Eastman's dream. Right. We're, we're making it possible for people to tell the stories they want to tell, capture the memories they want to capture. And uh, we've got, if you want to do them on film, we've got it. If you want to do it on digital, we've got that too. That's great, man. Yeah, it's been, it's been a really exciting show. I mean, it's just, the response has been so wonderful. Well, you know, I, I know that we feel like a good ending point, but I, I'm intrigued, so i got to ask you about the 4K now. Yeah. Um, and so, um, now do you have another booth showing it off? Uh, yep, there's actually a booth up in Central Hall. Sorry, it's up. We're That's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, but but I want to go, I'll go there. Yeah, yeah. I want to show that off, too. Yep, and then there's, uh, it's, it's over in the Central Hall. It's the uh, Kodak Pix booth. Talk about, talk about nostalgia, talk about the Kodak Brownie and, and, and the Kodak I had when I was a kid. I was three. Kodak Ectosound. You ever heard Kodak Ectosound? I've actually never heard that. That's the a sound was on the film. Wow, well, yeah, we haven't made it. We didn't have all this great stuff made. here. But it, 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 the, the, the metal the magnetic yeah. stripe for the audio was on there. So my family had sound films That's at awesome. that time. And so I grew up. So Watching Super 8, I watched Super 8. I liked it. Now there's some things I would I would think would be better, but it, it was nostalgic. Yep. And I love J.J. Abrams' homage to Spielberg in it. Did you watch it? Yeah. It reminded me of, the, of a beautiful early Spielberg, which I enjoyed more so. Please, Stephen, make more and more of those movies. Please, the warm, youth-like stuff. I love that. Please do it. Yep. And Quentin, I love your movies. I do. But stop killing people. No, kill all you want. Okay. But uh, no, this is great. So. In any other word, do you know about the price point for the entire unit? Yes, this camera, it'll come out in uh, Q4. We don't have a... Of 2016. Of 2016, yep, around the holidays. We don't have a, so a solid price point yet. That's fine. But it's probably going to range around $1,000. Around $1,000. That seems pretty damn darn good for something this nice. Yep. Um, how about knockability? Get it, how about impact? Can I handle yeah, some I mean, impact? This is a really well made. It's made out of metal. But yeah. It has a nice fit and finish. Yeah, can I hold it? Yeah, absolutely. Wait, hey, it's kind of ergonomic, guys. It's kind of balanced. Yep. It's yeah, definitely balanced. It's good. Here's for your skateboarders. Okay. <laughs> Very good. With your viewfinder. Wow. It feels yep. pretty darn good. Yep. So look for this uh, fourth quarter. Follow Kodak.com and all our social channels. You'll find out a lot more about oh. questions you ask about workflow. All that stuff's going to be coming out. What about out. batteries? Uh, it'll, it'll, have, it'll be battery inside and uh, you know, the life of the battery. Those are the details that we're Still keep coming as we get closer. That's so great, man. Okay, Josh, thank you so much. You were you. a very good interview. And for me personally, like I said, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I grew up with you guys down the street. Yep. I took, all right, I say it again. I took my Kodak Ectosound camera to Eastman Kodak in Dallas to get it fixed. How's that? 
weeks. And so we would pick up our movies, I think. I think we picked up our movies there? I can't remember. I went with about when we developed them. Right. So for me, I want you guys to succeed. Yep. And, and, uh, I want you guys to succeed. We're good. Because, because every company makes a mistake here and there, doesn't it? Yep. And wouldn't it be great for an American icon of Kodak? It's an American icon yep. that it resurrects itself and it sounds like it already is. And that we can help support them to be yep. successful. Not just because of nostalgia, but because of a great product. Right. And, and I tell you just one last point on that. Like, yeah. I'm from Rochester, New York. I'm from where the tech was founded. I grew up there. And to see, to be a part of this, right? To see this brand coming back, I can't tell you how much it means. Like, it's, a, it's such an important part of our community. And I'm just so excited about all of this. So let's, lastly, let's just say online, we're going to go to see perhaps demonstration videos, yep. um, uh, or go to your website, where yep. can I go to find out more? Kodak.com, right on our homepage, and there's gonna be plenty of information about this coming out all year long. Videos too? Videos too. All right, thanks yep. so much, Josh. Thanks, everybody. Okay, and say say goodbye, say hi to Texas. Hi, Texas. All right, cool.